Welcome to TEDCF Publishing's Dynamic Simulation Course for Autodesk Inventor Professional. My name is David Melvin and I'll be your instructor. I'll briefly give you an overview of my background and then I'll explain how you can learn from this course. I'm a licensed mechanical engineer and my specialty over the years has been research and development of new products, which goes hand in hand with hand calculated stress analysis and dynamics, FEA and dynamic simulation. So I've used both methods professionally and extensively. The first CAD software I used was AutoCAD back in 1986 and I started using it to design products in 1989. By 1996 I had quite a bit of training in 3D CAD with professional designer CADS 5, CATIA, and some work with ProE. And I made the transition from 2D to 3D in 1997 using Mechanical Desktop. And by 2000 I started using Autodesk Inventor. I've also produced countless training courses for Autodesk Inventor over the past 12 years. And if you read reviews from our customers, you'll know that you'll learn the best way to use dynamic simulation in the shortest time possible. Dynamic simulation can be a powerful tool, but it can also mislead you if you don't have a firm grasp of its capabilities. So this course exposes some of its shortcomings, but it also shows you how to work around them to produce meaningful simulations. One of the key components of creating good quality simulations is to know how joints work and the difference between all the joints. So the course starts out by showing you how all the joints work. You'll practice applying joints and you'll learn which joints are used in specific circumstances. A portion of joint creation is automatic, so you'll learn how to set up assemblies to get the most out of the automated process and you'll learn where the automated process ends and the manual application of joints begin. Throughout our study of joints, you'll run several simulations, apply traces to analyze translations, velocities, and accelerations, and you'll learn how to optimize your simulations. By the time you're finished, you'll know how to use all the dynamic simulation commands and the details you need to know about how they work. Now that you know the goal of the course, I want to tell you how to prepare for it. First you need to make a simulation project, so your workspace folder will be the simulation folder. I also want to tell you that when you're watching a lesson as you are now, you can click any of the buttons on the bottom of the control panel, and then click this button to continue watching the lesson. So if you click the support button for example, you can click this button to continue watching the lesson. After you finish watching this introduction, click the support button and then download the files used in the course by clicking this link. This link will take you to our website where you can download the files. The support page is also where you can watch help videos on how to use the commands on the control panel. And you can set up hotkeys. I recommend that you watch the help videos before you start the course so that you can get the most from it. When you're finished, click the next button to watch the next lesson in the course. 